Hi everyone, it's Lorraine with Pigments for Hue, and welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank my new subscribers for subscribing, and if you're returning, thank you. And this is sped up because this did not turn out. I was going to try to do a, what I would be calling a bloom marble roll, and what I did was dipped the marble in cell activator and run it through. Um, but I didn't really like it, so I thought, well, okay, I'll try to turn it into a flower. That, I don't know, I just didn't, didn't like it. And so I uh, end up pouring over it. I mean... I don't know. I just didn't like it. So here we go. Okay, so I'm just spreading out my um, base coat here. And um, I don't know the initial brand colors that I'm using, but I will have the colors in the Dropbox. I am using leftover paints. This is also a toy from uh, Spontaneous Creations, and it came out with a pretty interesting design. So stay tuned to the end. Here I was just showing a uh, push pin because the table that I'm using is on top of another spinner and I use the large push, push pins to help stabilize the tabletop onto the spinner. So here I'm just putting my design in the flower and giving it a little flower power. I'm just doing my little ruffly thing between the edges of each petal so that they're combined. It turned out pretty cute.
So here I'm just um, adding a few more designs and I end up spinning it. I don't like those two uh, white corners there and so I do kind of work it a little bit. And I'm giving this a quick torch. I should have torched it first, but I didn't. So this is how it's going to be. I will give you a close up here. And these are wet results. I will have dry results in the next video, along with the other dry results that I have forgotten to put in. So with that being said, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, have a wonderful day and take care. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye now.